Good morning and welcome to Capitan Morgan's War Games. I am Capitan Morgan and today's video is going to be about the orc side of Saga of the Beast. I've just received a book and this is my take and I'm going to give you what I think is going to, to work and works quite well here. Uh, Specialist mods, pretty good. You take these instead, instead of a clan culture. Uh, I see a bit of use in the uh, grot mobs, especially the uh, for for the reroll hit ones for the smasher guns. So anyone play, playing smasher guns, I reckon will be running that specialist mob. Uh, there's one in the. Uh, Tin heads as well as you use for that if you're going to uh, use gork and orcs and and stuff. And I could see two, two or three gork and orcs becoming a thing. That, that could work quite well. Uh, as for the others, yeah, all right, and they they're a little bit of flavour. I'm not just not sure whether I'd use them or they'll get much uh, play especially competitively. Uh, on to the stratagems. Now, there's some here, here, here that are, are quite good. Uh, you custom job one, especially if that's without the uh, mech shop, which isn't clear at the moment. But that's how I read it. You can use the, uh, that one and you don't have to have a mech workshop in your army to, to, to de use that. Uh, you've got the, the, the cleverest boss, the biggest boss. Now, clever spanner, that's pretty good for, for if you're using uh, looters. You're pretty much guaranteed 42 shots a turn. That's pretty good uh, for one command point. So it's well worth it. Then flying headbutt, if you're, especially if you're running planes. And I think if you use the uh, world fire with a burn, burner bomber, you, you've got a good combo there. Uh, Special shells for the flash kits, making it a 36 inch gun, they, that's an interesting one to me. Because that now makes flash kits a viable alternative, uh, cheaper in points uh, than the uh, looters. They can, uh, they've got, you don't need to put them in bad, Moons uh, to get the, get the uh, showing off because they have their own special ability that uh, you can uh, they use. I mean, you could put them in bare moons and get get the showing off on them as well. Uh, but I I don't I don't think that would is necessary. Uh, but in a free booters with a couple of bomb burner bombers and a dagger jet. And maybe a either a bone breaker or a gun wagon. Uh, I'd probably put them in a gun wagon, and then you're just going forward and uh, using ramming speed and and killing something that gives them plus one to hit to three booters to hit. So you you can see the other. Uh, if it kills a unit, it's a survivable way of getting freebooters culture to work. I like that idea. Uh, you fly a burner bomber over, use the uh, world class stratagem and use it, the bombability, uh, damage cut all units, blow it up.
and then your you're possibly wiping out a u unit allowing all your other three routers minus one to hit so i think there's some legs in that uh, and i think that you'll see some competitive players use use that sort of look at that that combo uh, and use the uh, free booters in that uh other strats here yeah there's the hit them harder for the mega knobs unstoppable momentum again that's pretty cool can recharge again uh, I think the biggest ones you'll see is the biggest boss, which gives adds one to the runes and attacks characteristics of a wall boss and gives it a full plus invo as long as Gazgul is not in, in there. Uh, the cleverest boss for big mech, you know, as long as mech boss Buzzgob's not in there, it's the same. Uh, and it, but it gives it a two plus weapon skill. Uh, which is reasonable, uh, and you uh, you can put a clever claw on that, the killer claw on that, or the, or the war boss now, and you've got a you've got a nice little tank hunter there. Uh, but that's number of po possibilities. The custom job, uh, and there's some custom jobs in there that are quite interesting, which are. The uh, the boomer, the slugger gubber, which is for the gorkonaut, uh, fortress on the gun wagon, possible or bone breaker. You, you could uh, have one of each. So that makes it quite interesting. Uh, so I don't think there's any many others here but apart from maybe the uh, pistons. All the uh, sparkly bits. But that's it again, is thing. We get to uh, Gazgul, I won't cover Gazgul and the Makari, they've, they've been covered to death, and they, uh, but the mod, model looks awesome. Uh, I'm hoping to get that soon. And Macario is a, another cheap HQ option of a two plus invo. You're, yeah, he's pretty. He, he'd be pretty viable as a, a warlord, especially at the, right at the back, and just to stop slow warlord. It's it's a very good option to have. But again, that's personal opinion. Uh, Gasgul, you know, I think it's possible to get rid of him in four rounds. Uh, Space Marines could do it. Alba definitely could do it. And uh, possibly Thousand Sons or Chaos as well. Uh, Big Mech with Custom Full Shield. Uh, it's just different to the one in the thing, and it doesn't shoot. But I think that will be FAQ'd along with a few of the other things in here. Uh, but I think this definitely will get FAQ'd, and you you will end up having to pay the points, and it will be like it is in the Orc Codex. 
because at the moment it's, it sounds sounds like it's can be used everywhere, but that's in shooting and fighting. But and I believe the York in the York Codex the custom full sealed is. Yeah, there's some range, just range drapings in the in the uh, pretty sure it's just range weapons in here. Just double check. Yeah, it's range weapons, and it costs twenty five point twenty odd points. Uh, it does, of course. So that's seventy five points, so which isn't too bad. It, uh, and you could, of course, add, add a wound and attack to that by making him the cleverest boss. But it's, so, okay, again, it's not too bad. Uh, there is more to it, and there is uh, the space wall side, which I'll do another day. But there's some good little missions in there I'd like to look up. Might, Try and play sometime, but artwork is cool. There's the uh, map again. Uh, always good to see see a map. Uh, 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 as I said, I mean, have some uh, some decent artwork work in the book to show up the models. Then again, there's I mean, that's the Space Force one. That's some I love, I love the artwork in these books, uh, but as for Yorks, yeah, yeah. the name generator, the psychic powers, mm. probably the only one is he I like. Is he free booters and the blood actors? Yeah, I, I think uh, Blood Axe is especially the, the uh, no, no Overwatch is a pretty cool thing. Then you've got the Orcs name, name generator, which is a bit of fun and a uh, way of naming your Orc characters, which I'll end up doing uh, at some point. Uh, and of course you get the data cards. Again, a lot of people have artwork on there. And they'll they'll be useful on the table. To you don't have to flick through pages and pages to find find the right stats. So overall, on the orcs, so will be some good bits in there. Uh, I think I'll, you'll see tree booters used. Uh, again, I think uh, we've got specialist mobs in there. Uh, some decent stratagems to complement your codex. So overall, we didn't come out of, a, of, of that book too bad. Thank you for watching. If you've been have enjoyed, please hit the like button, press the subscribe button, and hit the bell button to stay up to date with all my content. Also feel free to share anything you've enjoyed. Remember, everybody knows the dice are loaded.